everyone, so I'm here today to film a much overdue update for my Pan That palette for 2017. If you haven't been keeping up with my project, I'm not trying to pan a palette, I'm trying to hit pan in as many eyeshadows as I possibly can throughout the year. I just wanted to apologize and thank you guys for your patience that I didn't upload a update in May. That was because if you saw in my Project Pan Roulette update, in April and May I had some like skin issues that really prevented me from wearing a whole lot of makeup especially eye makeup so there wasn't any progress to show you in the month of May so I just decided to skip it and come in straight to June. So I'll just jump straight into my update and the first thing I have to tell you is my shade the NYX uh, Prismatic Eyeshadow in Golden Peach. I have decluttered it. I think in my last update I mentioned I was thinking about decluttering it because I just wasn't using it very much but I have given it away now so I no longer have it in my collection and I will be replacing it with a shadow today. So we'll just jump into the shadows that I've made progress on. So the first is the MAC eyeshadow in Fly By Twilight. I'm still working on this little section here and I'm definitely flattening it out, but I have no idea how much shadow is in this and I have no idea how deep it is. It's really difficult to use every day because it is a very glittery shadow, um, but I'm hoping to make more progress on it over the next few weeks as I'm not gonna be at uni every day, so I'm not gonna be seeing people every day, so I think I can wear this a little bit more often. Next I have my Zoeva Mixed Metals eyeshadow palette. I'm trying to hit pan in three shades in this palette. Alloy, Neo Brass, and Ore Stone. As you can see I haven't hit pan in any of those, though I definitely have a dip in alloy. I've kind of petered off using this because I've been uh, layering it with a By Terry Ombre Black Star and it's just a really dark look um, and it's not something that I can wear every day with the lipsticks that I've been choosing to wear recently so I have made a dip but again I have no idea how deep these pans are. They have 1.5 grams in each of them so a pretty decent sized shadow. Then I have my Dior little palette here. I'm trying to hit pan in two shades the first one is this lid shade and the other one is this base shade and as you can see I have finally hit a little bit of pan down at the bottom. I don't know if you can see the steepness of that angle of that dip there but this pan is so deep and I dug straight down into the bottom of it to get that little bit of pan. This pan has the most shadow in it out of all four. It's got 1.94 grams in it so it's quite a lot of shadow and it took a long time to hit the pan. And this one has the least amount of shadow in it with 1.4 grams. So I definitely have a dip in it there, um, but I have no idea how long it will take. If it's anywhere near as long as this took, I don't know if I'll be able to hit pan by the end of the year. And then I also have my Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette in the shade Sage. And with this one also, I was hitting pan in the contour shade and in the highlight shade. The highlight still has a bit of a dip in it, but not too much, but I have hit pan in that little bit there in the contour shade. These are really soft matte eyeshadows, so they're pretty easy to dig down into, uh, but they are pretty deep. They have 1.15 grams in them, and this big one here at the end has 2.63, so pretty big eyeshadows really. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to hit pen in this one because like I was saying I've been layering a lot of my shadows with my By Terry Ombre Black Star and this is something that I use to set my base but I can't really set a colored base with a cream so I haven't been using this as much but I will be making progress in the next few months. And then lastly I have my Tarte Energy Noir Clay Palette. In this one I was trying to hit pen in this uh, kind of taupey matte shade. I was using it in my eyebrows and I have hit pan down there in the bottom. It is a really nice eyebrow shade. I've really been enjoying using it but I'm thinking I'm going to take this palette with me on holiday when I leave in January for about a month. So I kind of want to put this away and pull it out again on my holiday. I don't want to make too much progress on this because I want to multitask it while I'm away. So I'm going to be adding four new shades to my pen that palette this month and I'll just jump in and show you what I've picked. First I'm pulling out this little baby that I was using earlier this year. This is the Urban Decay Naked 2 Basics palette. I've already hit pan in three of the shades. I think I was 
using all of these in my pen that palette or maybe I had some in my project pen roulette as well but I have hit pan in these three and now I would like to hit pan in this shade primal I've already made a bit of a dip in it there that's just been the last few weeks that I pulled this out after I hit pan in the Tarte shade so I think I'll hit pan in this pretty quickly these are also really soft matte shades so I'm hoping I'll be able to hit pan pretty quickly but this shade here and this shade here I am using in my brows so that's why it's quite a linear kind of cut into the pan there. I've also decided to pull out another oldie but goodie. This is my custom made MAC 15 pen palette. And I want to try and hit pen in this shade here. This is Shale, S-H-A-L-E. It's kind of a satin gray purple shade. And I really want to try and hit pen in it. It's got almost no use in it at all. So it will take quite a while because these pens are packed pretty tightly. But I would like to pull this out again because I do love this palette and it just doesn't get any use out of me. Another Another palette I'll be pulling out, this is a brand new palette to my collection, this is the Bare Minerals Bare Sensuals palette, and I've been absolutely loving this, so I decided while I'm still in love with it, I'm going to pull it out and put one of the shadows in this project, so I've decided to use the shadow Lure, which is this one here, it's kind of a really muted pink mauve kind of colour, I'm going to use it as a crease shade probably, um, and I'm just excited to get some use out of it. It is brand new so we'll see how I go with it but I'm gonna give it my best shot and lastly this is also kind of a new shadow but I purchased it late last year this is the RMS Swift shadow in the shade Garden Rose 12 it's a really pretty sheer pinky purple shade it's quite a dusty shade I really like it and I think it'll pair really nicely with the Bare Minerals palette it contains 2.5 grams so it's a quite a large shadow and I haven't used it all that much so it might not be one that I finish before the end of the year but I do want to pull it out and get some more use out of it because I love these shadows but I purchased them just before I started my pen that palette so I haven't really gotten to use them all that much so there you go, those are all the shadows that I have withdrawn, made progress on, hit pan in and added to my pan that palette for this month. If you're doing a pan that palette, please let me know down below so I can come and watch you. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.